Hey, believers. Israel. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. All right, I'm just, you know how I am. <laughs> I am. Um, <laughs> Anyhow, welcome. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. So I have a couple things. I'm just going to talk. I'm just going to say what I need to say. Um, bless this lesson. Bless the ears that hear it. I love you, Lord. I love you, Father God. Give us grace. Give us peace. Give us understanding in these last days. So let me straighten this out. Still going. I've crashed twice and it hasn't failed anyhow. So, um, I just did a lesson on um, David, King David, numbering the people. And I was very, very surprised. I was up in Malibu and I looked into the census in First Chronicles chapter um, 24 I think it is and it matches up with the same census that happened in 2 Samuel 10 verse 1 something like that you can look it up if you want I'm, I'm tired of doing all the footwork for everyone I already know this stuff and it's like if if you really want to if you really want to learn the Bible you got to read the Bible. So um I was right. I was hugely unexplicably and undeniably correct. If you look at the two events Satan moved David in the latter, in the latter example, the first example in 2 Samuel. You can find it. David numbers the people, numbers the people of Israel. 2 Samuel, that's the first instance, and it says, God, the Lord moved David. The Lord moved David to number Israel. Then, later, when it's chronicled, when it's chronicled in the book of Chronicles, um, you'll see, if you're willing to look, that the chronicler, the scribe who wrote down the instance that he knew of when David numbered the people during the time of Samuel, in Second Samuel, I think it's chapter ten. I'm not gonna, I'm not doing all the footwork for you people. You guys are gonna have to, if you want, if you really care, look, look at it yourself. But the point I'm trying to make is, I've been arguing with these black Hebrew idiots and any a number of people who said Satan is someone. Who's against you? Satan is this. Satan is that. Satan blah, blah, blah. Fucking bullshit. Jay Hall, you asshole. Fuck you, dude. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up. Believers, I'm sorry that you have to hear me tearing into this guy, but he is one stupid dude. There's a lot of stupid people, and I don't like to call people stupid, but I'm tired of being right. And, um, I have to keep proving it. So, bottom line is, um, if you look at the first instance where David numbered the people, it says, the Lord moved David to number Israel. And then the second instance, when the chronicler is chronicling it, he calls the Lord Satan. So what part of that don't people understand that 
man, I'm not going to, I'm not trying too hard right now. I'm just trying to get you to understand some things for people that think they know something. I'm straightening you out right now. Straighten out. Listen, the city of David, everyone says, oh, it's Jerusalem. It's Jerusalem. These dumb Hebrew niggerites, these fucking idiots, they say Saul, they say King Saul is evil, they say Judas Iscariot is evil. Don't fall for it. Don't buy their bullshit, please. You're going to get led off track. So, if you go into the New Testament, Luke, look it up if you want to look it up. The city of David is Bethlehem. Bethlehem Ephrata is where Jesus was born. It's where David was born. It's where Benjamin was born. It's where Saul was born. It's where David was born. It's where Samuel was born. It's where Benjamin was born. It's where Jesus was born. It's where David was born. On and on and on. I'm not here to argue. I'm here to teach. So I'm telling you one more time spiritual life lessons, you dumb dummies, you dumb teachers, you false prophets, you ignorant, arrogant. Country bumpkins, you Muppets. You guys are wrong. You guys are wrong. And besides that, you guys are wrong, 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 wrong. So, <clears throat> now that we've settled that, and we've settled who the Father of Jesus is, he's God. He's the Heavenly Father, not Joseph. And I think we've settled that the Gentiles are the glory of Israel. We can pretty much sweep Gabar, Tahar, or Ramla, spiritual life lessons. We can, Sakari, we can sweep them under the rug, leave them there for the termites and rats to chew on because that's their lot. <laughs> They're evil, wicked liars is what they are. And you know what? I'm not all that happy to know that my Lord is actually the dual nature of Satan. I didn't I didn't want to have to like completely swallow that. It's hard to swallow, even though I I've hinted at it that good and evil is something that um we know nothing about. And we need to keep our big, fat mouth shut about what the Lord's doing. And have some fucking fear and some humility. Um, it's not easy for me to swallow that either. That's a rough, that's a rough story there. That's, that's really rough. Dual nature. Our Lord has a dual nature. Not only is he the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, he's he's the unholy spirit also. That's hard to swallow, people. That's why the truth hurts. Because it's not easy to swallow. It gets stuck in your throat, doesn't it, Melanie? <laughs> I hope it does, baby. I hope someone's getting it stuck in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> they deserve, someone deserves something good from you. Anyhow, um, I'm going to go to work tomorrow. I'll probably do one quick one. Um, I'm going to, um, probably going to look into, um, the city of David being Jerusalem so that these stupid ass King David lovers realize that it's about Bethlehem. It's not about Judah. It's about Benjamin. It's about Judah, Benjamin. Bethlehem, Ephrata is Bethlehem, Judah. 
Come on, people. Come on. Anyhow, J.D. Niger, Word of Truth, in my room, laying down. Just wanted to <laughs> let you know that I didn't leave you hanging on, on the fucking census thing. Man, that... That was a hard one to swallow today. That's like, what? I knew that was true, but I didn't know it was going to be that. How obvious can it get? <laughs> it says it two different places. One time it's Satan and one time it's the Lord. Hmm. Same event. I don't know how to say it any clearer. Um, <laughs> there's a duality going on in this world and we're all upside down we don't understand shit even me i'm supposed to be the the smart guy i'm finding this stuff and um i don't feel like the smart guy no one's listening jd Nash, i'm out